So people are mad at Insurgency Sandstorm? What else is new? I mean, this is not the first time I've actually complained about this game. Like, if you go back on the channel, you'll see that I have multiple videos criticizing the game in its earlier state. So I don't even see why I'm even making this video. Why am I gonna make another video criticizing the game when it's just gonna fall on deaf ears? In fact, I'm gonna end it right here. Now, hold on a second here. There's something different about these complaints. They're all different. Like, there's different types of complaints that are all going in at different angles. You got the people from the consoles that want the game and want to know, you know, what's going on with it. Like, when is it going to come out on console? What's going on in that department? And then you got the people that just want the game fixed. Because for those of you that don't know, the game still has a bunch of issues that are still plaguing it from day one. And I'm not someone who plays the game regularly, but from what I've seen in other people's videos, they still run into bugs and have a bunch of optimization issues so that's obviously a big one and then you got the people that are like me who just want content because for the longest time the game basically had next to nothing in terms of content in its early days and the content that has been coming out to me has been kind of lackluster what's this a rehash map from insurgency 2014 and two new weapons well oh, well okay i mean i appreciate that they're actually giving us some content but it's nothing that's like blowing me away you know it's a big reason as to why i've switched over to the ismc mod that got they at least released the mods granted they did do it in a way that i really dislike it like they didn't release it with workshop they have their own third party site which is kind of annoying because i end up waiting for like 30 minutes to an hour to freaking download them and you just aren't able to play mods offline you can only play them online i believe they did that for the consoles but i don't understand why they couldn't do it for workshop also but you know i do like it more than the vanilla game because the ismc mod adds a bunch of new weapons maps attachments and a bunch of ways to mix and match a lot of cool stuff so i'm over here on the mod and i'm not even paying attention to vanilla and there's a bunch of people that are complaining about the new skins that were coming out which i took a look at the skins and they don't look bad but they do look like they don't belong in this type of game i was seeing a bunch of people memeing on it comparing them to fortnite skins they thought that was funny as hell people were even going as far as to say that they were trying to appeal to the chinese market which i i don't know about that i feel like if they wanted to do that they would have to censor a lot so that's why i kind of don't buy that but what's interesting about this is that they actually saw all of the criticisms and decided to post this on their twitter to our fans over the past seven days we received a lot of feedback on the 191 character and weapon skins dlcs and have decided that we are not releasing them thank you for your feedback and we will continue to listen so i mean i guess that's a big win although you know this is just the skins you know like whenever it's something else that i just listed beforehand as far as i can tell they've never really done anything about it but when it comes to their skins when you realize the majority of your fan base isn't going to buy your next content drop now they finally react i guess that just goes to show if you want a company to do something you have to hit them where it hurts in the wallet now maybe i'm being a bit too harsh here again i'm not someone who follows insurgency sandstorm like a hawk you know like i don't know what they've been doing but it just seems like to me that that's how this actually went down correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but that's just how i see it i mean this is like the first time that i feel like i've seen them acknowledge an issue and actually do something about it and like right away but what are your thoughts i just thought i'd make a quick little video just kind of acknowledging like the things that happened recently and also the things that i'm still kind of mad about and uh yeah i think that's the video if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like insurgency you sad around then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you may find something that you like on the channel if you're someone that's very generous and would like to support the channel be sure to check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye